Hello there, I'm Begalius. This is Call of Duty World War II, and this <laughs> was a very upbeat intro. And I, d I don't think I've ever been so upbeat um, for talking about World War II. I guess that's progression for you. 2017, World War II, uh, good thing. Wow, man, that's what <laughs> Trump's president. Anyway, so this is World War II, uh, and I'm playing on the map summit with the SGT G -G -G 44, your mom mobile. <laughs> I'm shooting dudes with uh, what I assume to be some sort of paper as slash and or uh, rubber bullets because they're not effective, man. This gun was a lot better in the beta than it is in this, uh, in this full edition of the game. And as you can see <laughs> from that first death, I got, I got a few headshots on that guy, still didn't get, anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about this game specifically, so I guess that is what I want to talk about, but it doesn't really matter. This game, I have not been so excited for a Call of Duty game in a long time, and there are two things I've said this year that I haven't been able to say for, a, for about six years, and that's, I'm excited for a Call of Duty game, and I like the new Call of Duty game. I actually um, enjoy, oh, that guy just got made a bitch somehow by my knife on the end of my gun. My god, my voice broke and now nah, I'm still a man. Anyway, so basically, <laughs> I want to talk about this game. Um, I'm having a really good time in this game. That is, that's the short and long of it. I'm actually enjoying a Call of Duty game, which I haven't been able to say in a long time. And it's, it felt so good, you know, with the run up to this game, being excited for a Call of Duty game, looking into the, the new things that they're going to add or take away, you know, and, and considering what it's going to be like and getting excited for the campaign and for all of this stuff. I haven't been able to do that in so long. In fact, I don't think I've been able to do that since Modern Warfare 3, which is it's the game that kicked off this channel, that sort of gave this channel legs to, to grow and, and, you know, do things like that and just grow subscribers. And that was the bread and butter of my YouTube. And that was when I really started to, you know, take off and and now I've landed back again. This is great. But yeah, uh, <laughs> this game. And I did that because I was I was enjoying the game that I was playing. Well, for a bit. <laughs> and then I started hating it. But at least it was, uh, you know, uh, bearable. And as you can see in this game, something, again, that I haven't been able to do for a long time. For, I think, about six years as well. I'm posting multiplayer gameplay, which I haven't been able to do since uh, Modern Warfare 3. Every time I posted Call of Duty gameplay and done a commentary over it, I have played with bots, and that's because it was the only way I could bear the game. Those games were so bad, and I'm talking about sort of from Ghost through to um, uh, uh, Infinite Warfare, they were so bad that I couldn't get good enough to post gameplay. I took a time, I took some time off of Call of Duty uh, with Modern Warfare 3 when I really started to dislike it. <laughs> to look back at it, why did I not like that game comparatively <laughs> to what came after it? Um, but yeah, like I, I took some time off of it because I didn't like it. Um, and then when I came back to it, I had to get good again. And there is a learning curve to Call of Duty as much as, you know, people may disagree. There is, uh, there are nuances and differences to the games that you do have to get used to. Um, but I, I wasn't very good and I couldn't bring myself to get good again. So I just kept playing with bots and I couldn't get good at it. Now I'm actually playing a game where I can concentrate, a Call of Duty game where I can concentrate on what's happening, where the enemies are. I'm, I'm noticing, because I'm, watch I'm watching this through the Upload Studio, the wonderful, amazing, god awful, terrible, <laughs> piece of shit um, Upload Studio that never, <laughs> never crashes or anything like that. Um, and I'm seeing things that I used to do you know, ways that I used to play the game back when I had my camera on the floor and my TV on the floor and I used to record it that way. I'm seeing the way that I used to hunker down in a position and find good spots to, to place myself in and be tactical and see where enemies have died so I can watch over and see, you know, see if enemies are coming through. I'm doing this again. Objectively, when there are objectives, you can go to the flag and check the area and things like that. You never be able, used to be able to do these things. I would say, even in Black Ops 2, it wasn't as prevalent. Is prevalent evident? words are great it was never that much of a deal to to look for things you had to just be fast and move with your feet which was what made it impossible for me to play i didn't like that i played call of duty because in these close quarter maps you can you can listen for things you can look for things and things like that and that's what made it so great and now we have that again and i know that this game is missing features i know that i would rather there were uh, just more to it i wish there were more maps to be honest more guns and things like that. And in 2017, maybe we shouldn't be having nine maps and, you know, things like that. And war mode, by the way, war mode does suck. I <laughs> walked into it and came straight back out when I got sniped six times in a row. And I know that the game has these issues and it 
to be honest, it does just ride off of the back of the fact that it is a stripped out Call of Duty that doesn't have the bollocks that we all hated. But I just don't care, man. I'm willing to sacrifice my dignity and my pride for a Call of Duty game that I can enjoy again and one where I can prestige again and maybe get more prestiges than my record. My record is Black Ops 1, which was my favorite Call of Duty game, uh, where I had five. Five prestiges, maybe six prestiges, something like that. I might beat it this time. Who knows? I'm having a really good time with the game. It isn't boring me. It isn't pissing me off. And uh, I really like it. Honestly, hopefully I'll be able to make more videos on this and go back to maybe the way that it was when I used to do gameplay commentaries because I actually have good gameplay to back myself up. Um, obviously, there are criticisms that I want to address. I've spoken about the things I don't like. I also don't like supply drops, but I guess it, it does add a la la layer of sort of challenges because you can do these challenges to earn them. Um, but this whole, the biggest issue the internet seems to have, and this is such a perpetuated stereotype of the internet, and I wish it would just go away, is this whole female characters and black, you know, soldiers and Nazis and, and swastikas not being there. Call of Duty is not a realistic game. <laughs> Can we please stop thinking that it is? It's not gritty, it's not realistic. Yes, the campaign is slightly more realistic, but narratively, it never has been. They're usually games about the World War... Uh, uh, World War Three. that's it, <laughs> man. And with robots, it doesn't matter. And to be honest, it's I never pay attention to that sort of thing, and I don't think anyone does. So can we stop complaining about that? And also, some of the... Um, yes, it is missing features, but honestly, for the gameplay you get, this game, I, I love it. And I'm back on that Call of Duty hype wagon, which is fantastic. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.